This is a tutorial for creating box plots in R using data from the Centers for Disease Control. This lab assumes that you've already read in the CDC data from openintro.org and have subsetted the data into both smokers and non-smokers and you've created the relevant uh, body mass index variables for the entire sample for smokers and non-smokers. If you haven't done that, if you don't have those in your environment as I have them over here, then you should uh, make sure that uh, you review Lab 2. The basic way to create a box plot is to type in the command box plot um, and then in parentheses the variable uh, that you want to plot, so box plot BMI. This is a fairly straightforward way of looking at uh, this distribution. So you have the box which repre represents the uh, 25th and 75th percentile, the black line is the median, and then you have uh, outliers beyond the uh, whiskers here. Um, anyway, this is a very basic thing and we want to do some corrections to this to make it look, uh, look better and uh, make it easier to interpret. So the first thing that I want to do is uh, change the orientation. So instead of it being vertical, it's horizontal. I, in most cases, I prefer a horizontal box plot because it matches up better to both a histogram and a kernel density plot. The orientation is the same there. So the first thing I want to do is use the horizontal equals true option in the box plot. And you can see that the, this makes a lot more sense, I think. Um, it looks like the, uh, the distributions that we've used in labs two and three. Um, from here on out, it's basically making this look a little bit uh, prettier than it currently does. So the first thing I'd like to do is remove this uh, box or frame around the box plot. Now unlike uh, uh, with the uh, uh, plot command that we used for creating the density plots, um, we have to, we have to re this is referred to in the box plot command as a frame instead of a box type. Uh, before we use the BTY option, here we have to use the frame option and say frame is equal to false and that will remove that. Um, other things we want to do obviously are extend this uh, um, axis so it covers uh, uh, the entire range. We In the past we've set that to run from 10 to 80. But here's another uh, interesting or interesting important thing to note about uh, box plots. Um, in this case, remember the the basic orientation is vertical, and for whatever reason, um, this axis is still being referred to as the y axis. So we have to set the at least for this purpose, and we have to set the y limit here instead of the x limit. So y lim is equal to uh, 10 and 80. And you can see that uh, we've reset the axis that way. Um, uh, now, I said that it, it treats this axis as the y axis for purposes of setting the range. But if I want to add an, a label to this axis, I have to use xlab instead of ylab. And so I'll grab these. By the way, what I did in my script file is I started putting these things on two lines so you can see the entire thing without me having to scroll uh, to the right to see the entire command. So um, there's the, uh, I'll run that and you can see I've added that body mass index. Now it's starting to look like the other graphs that we've done. Adding a title is relatively straightforward. Again, uh, we'll we'll put the uh, uh, the main is equal is the distribution of people by body mass index, just like before. Um, I can add color to the plot, um, just like before. I've picked uh, a, a relatively uh, um, uh, light color there, that uh, sort of transparent red, and notice that it fills in the box itself. Okay, and then uh, pretty much uh, that's uh, all I need to do. The one other thing that would be advantageous is that many times in box plots you see a little diamond shape 
in the uh, box here to indicate where the mean is. Now you should know that given the skew of this distribution that the mean should be to the right of the median and so we'll add a layer with that point. You know we used AB lines before to add lines to the graph. In this case we'll use points to add points to the graph. And what this is saying is add a point that's equal to the mean value for BMI and it's going to be on the y-axis at 1 which is just this basic first position. The uh, uh, character is going to be 23, which is a, a diamond shape, and I'm going to fill that with a black color. So there you go. Um, that is basically how you create a box plot in R. I'm going to uh, have part two where we plot this for both smokers and non-smokers.